I'm losing it from just staying indoors for so long. But really, do you feel like you're gradually losing your sanity? Like this whole corona pandemic. Everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Docas and this is I Docas my space. Um so today I'm going to be sharing some tips, not some tips, but some ways you can stay busy during this quarantine season that keeps you safe, basically. But while we're staying safe, always remember to wash your hands or sanitize your hands often. Whenever you go out, you come back in, you sanitize your hands, you wash your hands, you clean the knobs of the doors, um, slabs, tables, whatever it is, make sure you sanitize. Stay at home, stay at home, stay at home. What I do is, I wake up in the morning, I treat it like a normal day. I plan a list of things to do every morning before I get off my bed. I sit with my kid and then we do a little homeschooling. So that keeps me busy. And then I always, always try to check on my friends every single day. So I don't call every single person every single day. But you have to, have to always keep in touch with people this period. Friends, family, loved ones, I make sure I keep in touch as much as I can. So that keeps me sane in a way because I can have conversations with these people. So it feels like nothing is happening. We're not seeing face to face but we're having the same kinds of conversation. Just a little bit different. Corona involved kind of conversations. But we still speak. That's the point I'm trying to make. So there are some people who actually do not have anywhere to go or anything to do or probably would have even exhausted calling their friends and family and maybe don't have kids to homeschool or whatever. What you can do is download certain apps. There are different educational apps, game apps that you can download on your phone. You know, play games from time to time. Keep yourself busy with those applications. They actually help. It could be house party, it could be scramble, it could be scramble? Scrabble. Scramble or scramble? Scrabble. It could be scrabble. Um, you know, it could be anything. There are so many apps. Just go on your app stores and check for games that you could download and then you'd love it. But I also feel like this is a time for one to improve on oneself. So if there is a skill that you love to do, if there is um, something that you love to do or you've always wanted to do but you never had the time to do. I feel like now is the right time to actually start make, doing some research, learning online. If you need to take online classes, if you need to take online courses, there are some schools that are actually still open and you can take online courses. If you need to do all of that, why this period has made a lot of people very lazy. So you just sit around and do absolutely nothing. Which is fine too, If you can do that once in a while, but I also feel like even if it's one hour, two hours a day, you get to learn some skill or something, it will help you. So when this whole thing is over, you know that you're more equipped. So just learn a skill. Learn a skill. I actually think exercises help. Maybe some people are actually very lazy folks. I know a friend. Hi, Esther. <laughs> I know a friend that is very lazy. She doesn't love to work out at all. But I feel like now is the time to get some exercise in so you can walk out in your house. I know I, I don't do that every day of the week, but I try to get at least three days a week in of workout. Because on a normal day, you will be out and about, right? So even if you're driving, you're walking, you're busting, whatever it is, you're moving, you're physically exercising your body, which helps the body in turn. So because you're confined to your space doesn't mean you cannot physically move. You can actually move. You get me? You can also take this time out to meditate, even if it's just for 10 minutes. Just sit still and meditate. I don't know how they do it, but just meditate. Do something that helps the soul. Reflect. Think. You know, um, whatever you need to do that puts you in a still position, you should do that. So, for those of you who don't have the luxury of being online all the time, you can also read a book. It could be any kind of book. Books you've had in your house that you've probably not touched in a long time. Get the book and read. Read, read, read. Just read to keep yourself busy. Read books, read covers, dictionaries, whatever it is, it will help keep you busy. I know it might it might seem like a boring thing to do, but right now you don't have any other thing to do. You don't have a choice. I also know some people who is, who are using this time to actually get closer to God. They're reading their Bibles, you know, they're meditating, you know, they're doing what they need to do to purify their soul. But exposing yourself to negative news, to to um, negativity all the time, will only bring negativity. So just try to keep yourself positive. I try to keep stay far from the news if you can. If you're an anxious person and you get scared, just stay far from it. So I already said isolating myself and not going out as much as I would normally do. I would advise people to also do the same thing. It's actually for our own good. 
But right now, the craze is something else. Because we're all isolated, right? In Lagos, everybody seems to be going to the same places in terms of if you have to go out, it's something that is a necessity. You have to do it, right? So we're all going to the market at the same time. We're all going to the pharmacies, the hospitals. So those places right now are packed. And it's making, it's causing some sort of congestion. Now there is traffic everywhere. If you want to drive out, it's blocked. So those are the things I actually do to keep myself busy. I hope that um, helps you. Yeah, so that's it for now. Don't forget, do not forget to subscribe. It's very important. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.